There she is, the little baby, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And that can mean just one thing. Today I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, one of four of the theme parks here at the Walt Disney World Resort. Disney's Hollywood Studios, let's go. I'm going to start the day today down here in Pixar Studios, home to Toy Story. Uh, now, Toy Story Midway Mania is probably the most popular ride in this park. It always seems to get a queue, so I've utilised the Fast Pass Plus system with this one today uh, to make it my first ride. So just got a couple of minutes until that slot, and um, you get an hour usually on the Fast Pass Plus slots, which is really really cool. Let's go and give uh, Toy Story Midway Mania a try. First time uh, on this ride here at the park. See what I mean? It's already got an 80 minute queue. I'm glad I'm uh, fast passing this one. This is basically one of the uh, these dart rides what are interactive. The ride actually spins round as you're going round it. Um, it's a bit like uh, Mouse Who Chocolate at Fantasia Land, if you remember me uh, showing you that one. If not, check out the uh, Fantasia Land vlog where you can see that in action. And um, yeah, it's one of the latest dart rides where you can get really. Uh, really, really good system, really do like it. And um, before the trackless dart rides came out, this was sort of the the idea before that. So why I'm wearing my glasses now, I don't know, but I think it looks quite cool. How many eyes have we got? Six eyes now. Look forward to this, I'm sure it'll be a well themed experience. Let's go on, Toy Story Midway Mania here at Disney's Hollywood Studio. Theme station, I love it so far. Really well themed. Same sort of idea as Toy Story Playland at Disney um, in Paris, but of course, this is inside and it's a ride, not just the area. Definitely worth getting your Fast Pass Plus reservation for this, as I've just waited five minutes instead of 80. That's on a weekday in the middle of September. I tried to think what it's like in some holidays.
enjoyed Toy Story Midway Mania, really good interactive ride. So as you saw throughout, you pull these, which moves these guns uh, side to side, and as you're going around the ride, um, it changes what you're actually firing, which is quite a cool interactive system, really like that. One of the best dark rides I've done this trip, actually. Really a big fan of the uh, interactive ride system. Didn't get a bad score either, considering I was holding the camera. 84,000. The best of the month is more than that though. The best of the month is like 800 or something, so... Oh well. Very well themed station. And a very good ride. I do love these interactive ride systems. Like I say, Mouse of Chocolate was really good as well. Awesome. Thank you. There we go. First ride of the day done. The busiest one in the park. Sorted. So as I said at the start of this vlog, I remember reading all online when this hat was actually put in after the transition between the park being named MGM Studios and Hollywood Studios. And there was a lot of issues with this hat because it was put right at the end of the main street. And of course, in front of this lovely entrance to the uh, great movie ride. So I'm not too sure why they put it there, but it's there. But this is a beautiful facade for the great movie ride. Very impressive. Huge. This is nice. Very, very nice building in here. I love it. Hey, I'm here. 
and Raiders of the Lost Ark amid a thousand deadly snakes. Indiana Jones honors a great treasure. Will Harrison Ford escape with his discovery? And what will be your fate? Awesome. I absolutely love the great movie ride. I thought it was uh, just going to be like a little dart ride what takes you around through some scenery. Um, but as you saw there, it was like a live action experience. They've got um, all sorts of actors and stuff in there doing scenes as well, uh, which was really good. Something quite unique, something, uh, you know, a little bit different here at the park, which I really did enjoy. Um, as you can probably see here at the moment, this is the frozen area. This is an event what's been going on all summer and it's just carried on because it's been that popular, basically. Um, but yeah, the frozen fireworks are on tonight. So I'll definitely check out the frozen fireworks um, and show you those tonight as well as Fantasmic, which is the nighttime show here at the park. Gonna head down to one of my favorites now. I did this the other day for the first time uh, and wow, what a ride. Of course, it's the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Um, I've done the Paris version, which is obviously a newer version. And you think with new versions, they'd be better than old versions. That isn't always the case, and this is a prime example. Um, the original of this ride is absolutely stunning experience. It's got extra scenes, extra scenery. Let's go and check it out, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. A Disney classic, of course. Just down the bottom of this lovely Street, really well themed. And there she is. What a beauty.
amazing ride Tower of Terror is there uh, and as you saw by the extra theming in the queue line uh, and on the ride itself it's got more of a dark ride section where it actually takes you round the little scene before you go into the lift shaft that's something what the other ones don't have um, you know which is, is really really good Pretty random street entertainment that's what makes these parts like Disney you know they always have plenty of street entertainment going on something what the UK parts could learn how a lot from because a it keeps people away from the queues and B it just adds a good bit of atmosphere to the actual park which is really really cool heading up to Star Tours for the uh, uh, Fast Pass Plus selection which is in about 20 minutes but I'll try and get another attraction in before that of course I like squeezing rides in <laughs> it's got to be done having a good time so far here this morning done two of the busiest rides definitely Toy Story and Midway Mania um, that is definitely the busiest ride I'd probably say at Walt Disney World itself if not it's, well, it's the biggest queue I've seen here at 80 minutes definitely worth Fast Pass Plus Right, slight change of plan. You know I said I like squeezing stuff in. Because my Star Tours Fast Pass Plus reservation is for an hour from 10 past 11 till 10 past 12, I'm gonna go and watch the Indiana Jones Stunts Show Spectacular at quarter past 11. Hope that I'll be able to run then straight into Star Tours before 10 past 12. I'm sure I'll be able to, I reckon the show will be about half an hour to 40 minutes and it's right next door to Star Tours. So let's go over to Indiana Jones and watch the Stunts Show Spectacular. I like fitting stuff in, don't I? Nice and tightly. something going on at Disney you know on the way to one show and there's something else going on got a little frozen right I'm actually gonna make my way now to the Indiana Jones epic stunt show spectacular I like the misters even though they're to cool you down they sort of had as nice Theming touches, I think, to the queue line. Jess so gonna go and watch this. Let's just hope it doesn't rain. Because if it rains, I've heard that they uh, cut the show a little bit due to safety, which is fair enough. So 
I just want to make sure I see this this morning before the classic Florida rainstorm comes this afternoon about three o'clock. This looks like a nice theatre. Oh yeah. Looks good. Try and find a seat. Managed to get quite a good seat really. Turn up quite late. Normally with these shows you need to be a sort of half an hour to 45 minutes before in the summer. In September you're okay coming up a bit later. It's a nice set though. Looks like a moving set to me. Like part of it's going to open up. Cool. Alright, let's enjoy the show. It's Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Awesome show that was there, the Indiana Jones stunt spectacular. What an amazing uh, performance that actually was. Fantastic collections. I like how it sort of shows you how the stunts are done and it acts as sort of a movie set instead of it just being a show, um, you know, where it's all planned out. It's all very sort of, you know, 
them guys pretending obviously that they don't know what's going on and the shooting the scene uh, which is really really cool and I'm out in time for uh, Star Tours now this is actually in Disneyland Park hello theme park worldwide on YouTube Woo! <laughs> Even happens over here. Um, this is actually in Disneyland Park at Disneyland Paris. Here it's in uh, the studios. So let's go on. Fast Pass Plus, of course. This is how easy the system actually is. There we go. That's how easy it is. And then I'm straight in. We droids are made to suffer such indignities. Seems weird coming into this in the studios park instead of in uh, Disneyland Paris. Really does. No, I do like the Fast Pass Plus system. I was unsure about it before I came because I did like the traditional, um, you know, ticket system, what they've got at the other Disney parks. But I think it works quite well. And once I've used these three, I can select some more for later. Let's go on Star Tours. Star Tours, much better than the Paris version, uh, and of course it is 3D here as well, which is uh, really really cool. You wear uh, 3D glasses, uh, and it makes the experience seem a little bit, you know, even more realistic than it does in the Paris version of Star Tours. Really really enjoyed that. I'm not really a massive fan of uh, of the one of Paris, and that has made me enjoy that ride uh, a hell of a lot more. Really do enjoy that. Brilliant experience, Star Tours here at Hollywood Studios. It's only just gone 12 o'clock. As you can see, if you use the Fast Pass Plus system, it's quite a busy day here today. And you can get on a lot of rides. Obviously, we've done Tower of Terror, um, Toy Story, the great movie ride, Epic Stunt Show, Indiana Jones, and time for some more fun. Awesome. day here at Hollywood Studios. It's definitely one of my favourite parks I've ever been to. I really do like the atmosphere of the park and the whole theme and feel to it. Just had another ride on uh, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. What an amazing ride. I absolutely love it. One of my favourite rides here at Disney. Uh, and now again on Rock and Roller Coaster. First time on this. Um, I must say I do prefer Tower of Terror, like I said earlier on, um, to the one at Paris. It's got the extra scene. This, I'm not too sure because I've heard this is a bit, uh, you know, not as good as the Paris version, mainly because of the theme inside. This is more based on the um, the Journey 2 
the party than the actual party. Personally, I like the lights and the atmosphere um, of the actual party, the version of Paris. I prefer the exterior though. This looks much nicer than the Paris version. It might carry on inside, but who knows? That's what this vlog is all about, my opinions. Everybody has different opinions on rides, uh, and that's understandable. It wouldn't be, be fun in the community if everybody liked the same ride. So let's uh, see. Single rider for this one. It seems strange seeing a queue for this, because obviously the Paris version never seems to get busy, you know. And I've been there in the peak summer holidays, it never seems to get busy. Um, but it is quite a busy day here at uh, Hollywood Studios, I guess, today. It's quite similar so far. If you're in the hallway, make sure you are standing behind the yellow line because the doors will be opening out towards you and we don't want you to become our next smash hit. Hey! Hey! What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at a show. Where now? I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Uh, she's usually oh. not like this. But yeah, she's usually worse. I heard that. <laughs> Where is my limo? Good. Okay, come on, guys. Please get in the car. Sorry, folks. We gotta go. Make sure we lower this. Chris, can you grab my black list, Paul? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. Uh, we can't? No, oh, come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Yeah. Hey, yeah, wait. Like the yeah. Wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh. Yeah, no. come, on. Yeah, come yeah. on. Make it happen. Come on. Give me some. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll make it happen. All right, all right. Now get out of here. We got it. We got I hate it. all of you. Have a nice ride! Hi, Sal, it's me. Listen, I'm gonna need a bigger car. Make it a stretch. In fact, make it a super stretch. Great. <laughs> in the station there's a very different theme it's supposed to be themed to like the back streets um, like an outside area whereas obviously the Paris version is themed it's got a lovely truss in the ceiling with all sorts of lighting on it's good to try a different experience though as always it's definitely got the best queue line um, and the best exterior Let's see how I rate the ride. So just come off rock and roller coaster with Aerosmith. Um yeah, nowhere near as good as the Paris version. So you've got like, you know, the exterior here a lot so much better in the queue line. But when you actually get onto the ride, the coaster's nowhere near. It's hardly forceful at all, to be honest. And um, the scenery is just like some billboards with like donuts on and UV lighting. Um, whereas at Paris, obviously you're getting a proper thematic experience with lighting, all BMX controlled. Um, so I do prefer that version. Oh, it's warm when you get outside. Yeah, I do prefer that version. It was a bit of a disappointment, really. But I did know, I did sort of expect it. I was pre-warned that it wasn't as good as the Paris version. But this looks much better outside. Again, everybody has different views. You guys might prefer this one. I mean, you know, it's just, I'm a big lighting geek. I like my lighting and stuff, so that does help. But don't get me wrong, still a, a good ride. Probably, in my opinion, the weakest ride in this park. Um, but yeah, it's got a lovely exterior, definitely. Right, it's time to go where uh, I'm gonna go on the Twilight Zone, I think. Come on, it's gotta be done. I do absolutely love 
the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, it's amazing. Now, just in time for the Lights, Motors, Action, Extreme Stunt Show. And this actually originated at the Walt Disney Studios in Paris, uh, where it was created. It was that good of a show. Uh, they brought it over here as well, so it's at both parks now. So just in time for this performance, going to go and check it out. Again, it's another one that's weather permitting, so I'm glad that I managed to catch this in the early afternoon instead of the uh, later afternoon. It's going to be a good show. Look forward to seeing if it's similar to uh, Paris. We're going to meet the girls at the pool, okay? At the moment, it's pretty much the same layout. Um, you know, you've got the garages and stuff just there as you come round. Um, and let's say if you walk round underneath the set. Oh yeah, it's very similar actually, very similar. So this is all the backdrop to this beautiful Mediterranean village. And that's where the show takes place.
much identical to the Paris version, or it would be if Paris hadn't made some of the cutbacks lately uh, to entertainment. They've actually took a few of the main um, scenes out of the Paris version. That was much better, but yeah, it was pretty much identical to the original version of Paris. Um, it's a shame that the version of Paris isn't as good as it used to be. Um, it literally, this show here was based on the version of Paris. Now it seems to be this one. Um, you know, it's still doing the full performance and the one in Paris is very cut back. Very good show, 10 out of 10, come and see it. Absolutely awesome show there, do love it. Um, but yeah, we've also picked a very good time to be here at uh, Walt Disney World and especially um, Disney's Hollywood Studios Park. And that is because it is actually the last couple of days of operation of the Studio Tram Tour. Um, now the reason why it's closing is unknown but it was actually announced when we first arrived out here in Florida um, just last week that this attraction was going to be closing this Saturday and um, so that's only two days to go. It's a classic attraction um, here at the park, it's been here for years, there's also obviously a version of it at Paris uh, and at the moment it's sort of unknown what is going to take over the studio tram tour um, but it is going to be an emotional moment when it does close with it being a classic attraction. Also closing this week over in uh, Epcot in World Showcase is the Maelstrom uh, boat ride as well to make way for Frozen. What is coming to this area? Rumours say Cars Land or Star Wars Land. I'm not too sure but I'm going to take my last ride now uh, on this attraction. Uh, I've had a few rides on it over the past few days and I do really really like it actually. Whether this whole area is going to close off or they're just going to put a fence up around this area I'm not too sure at this moment. Well, that's going to have our last ride ever on the Studio Tram Tour. It's been weird, the first time I've ever done it at this park this week, and it's also the last time. Studio Tram Tour.